Neither one in the month. In the past weeks or even months, I have been accosted with the question of is there vacancy in the seat of power of Imo State? And people will go ahead to say, is it possible with what happened in the past House of Assembly election for anybody to win the present government in the coming election? And I said, underline anybody. Now, if, if winning an election is by a thumb of one person, I'm sure anyone can win the present government or even win any election. But because winning an election is not by the vote of one person, I think the energy of that paradigm shift needs to be awakened. The consciousness needs to come active. Yes, there is vacancy in the seat of power in the state. Yes, it is possible for the incumbent governor to be won come November 11. And I'll share a story with you. There's this community where they have been battered so much by warriors and they ran from the high mountains into the valley where they took hiding. And at some point they were living in those valleys. The high mountains became the mountain of the dead. And nobody dared go up there because there were bad warriors that will slaughter you as quick as you get to that mountain. One night, one gentleman was asleep and woke up at the dead time of the night and looked up at that mountain and he saw a candle lit at the mountain. In his curiosity, he was wondering, who is this fearless person that could go up the mountain of the dead? In his curiosity, I said, in his curiosity, he took his own candle, read up the mountain to find out who that person with that kind of courage was there go up the mountain. As he was up the mountain, remember, the first guy was up the mountain with one candle lit. The second guy out of curiosity joined him, two candles lit. Now, with the noise they were making when they were chatting up there, more people became awoken and they saw two candles lit up there. And out of curiosity, out of the passion to go and find out what is happening, how come there's life at the mountain of death? How come after so many years of butchering, after so many years of depression, after so many years of battering, all of a sudden there's light at the mountain of the dead, which means life can be sustained at the mountain of the dead. Out of curiosity, out of courage, out of passion, they all climbed that mountain to go and find out who are these pioneers after so many years could climb up and dare the mountain of the dead. And when they got to the mountain, now you now understand, underline it. Now more people climbed up the mountain and it now had multiple candles lit. And multiple candles espoused the darkness at the mountain. Multiple candles brought power, brought embodiment, brought courage. And the people got liberated by chasing out those warriors that which had them in the past year. This story is just to encourage us and make us also be aware that Imo people are enlightened and very resilient people. In the past years, we have been known to voting out bad leaderships. We have been known to voting out incumbent uh, governors. And it is time for us to rally around within ourselves, hold hands together and do that which we are known for again. Partner with us, partner with the Impact Emo project for a new and functional emo.